We were aiming to become the first New Zealand team to row the Tasman, so we, we're setting ourselves the goal of rowing from the Sydney Harbour Bridge to the Auckland Harbour Bridge. So th there's five of us, so Rob, uh, Rob Hamill, who's the director, sort of. He's not rowing, although he recently expressed interest in rowing if one of us drops out. Two guys who row actively, and uh, but Nigel and Jamie have particular um, experience in sailing, so which is going to be really handy. Balancing family and rowing is probably, uh, and preparation is probably the hardest thing for me. And so, you know, I've always got to be aware of the, the impact on them. My wife's actually encouraged me, she's, she's helped me take the year off work. Thomas is only five, he probably loses out the most simply because I'm just not around as much as I should be. He just about understands what Dad's doing at the moment and uh, hopefully it'll be, um, yeah, it'll be worth it at the end. The adventure that Nigel's embarking on is, um, I've got quite a few feelings about it. Um, the first one is that I'm actually relieved that he's actually finally doing it. But you know, I'm, I'm just really proud. It's awesome for someone, A, to even think to want to row across the Tasman, you know, and do the whole sponsorship thing. That's really hard. Um, it's not your profession, but maybe it should be. <laughs> Sponsors is the hardest part because you need money. You can't, you know, you need a good team and you need a good boat and you need money to pay for all the equipment and all your preparation. It's more than four guys rowing in the boat. There's, there's probably, you know, an extra 200 people on the outside that help you get to where you want to go. We just heard about them and the grapevine. Nigel's a great networker, actually, and uh, he had also worked with some uh, some of the people who've worked at Localist here in the past. So our values here are real local fanatics, and we just thought there's hardly anything more fanatical that we could think of than uh, rowing across the Tasman in a boat with three other blokes. So when Nigel said he needed a website, we thought this was the perfect opportunity for us. So we're building a website so that all of Nigel and the rest of the team supporters can get behind them. We had a quick meeting with Nigel and uh, he pitched us quite hard on, on the voyage. We heard that Rob Hamill was involved as well and we thought you know, a big name like that doing this, this is going to be successful and that's what we're about to is success. So we thought we'd line up with him. So supplying a whole lot of accessories like bilge pumps and that sort of thing. The real hard chandry stuff that um, you need when you're doing this kind of thing. How am I supporting the challenge? Well I've assessed all four members of the team. Um, I've worked to provide ongoing support to Nigel in his role as the leader and I've also done some work around assessing the personality of the team itself. Pretty obviously Nigel has to be uh, a little bit unbalanced to want to row across the Tasman. Um, I admire unbalanced people and people that are doing uh, different challenges I guess. So uh, he needed help uh, with the energy equation for the boat. We admire people doing something different. It was pretty obvious we had to get in and do something. Uh, they, it's a great challenge um, to, to run Trans Desmond. And uh, I find it very interesting. And I'm offering a, a tailored chiropractic uh, plan and offering also regular stretch sessions to help them um, stay mobile and move well on the boat. Simple as that. The team wants to row the Tasman because it's 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 purely a selfish thing. You just want the adventure and wanting to achieve something that is a little bit out of the ordinary, I guess. I guess the thing for me is that um, I mean, probably while it's been my my desire for the longest, these guys want to do it as much, if not more, than I do. That's it. Just shines out to me that it's not just my dream; it's their dream as well. It's what they've wanted to achieve, and we've all stuck together through that hard stuff, which will hopefully make the whole um, experience a lot better because we'll all be able to, you know, relish the good times together as well. Any last words? Well, yeah, that's a, um, it's a pretty average day actually today. Quite a lot to do. There's never enough hours in a day and you can't afford to lose a day. Um, day loss is a day wasted. But I think what it shows is that it's not just four guys in the boat. It's so many more people than that that we need the help and support, otherwise we wouldn't be doing this. Gallagher and Localista, you know, are real big supporters, but all these people we've seen today are just essential to make it all happen.